need. I am excited. I am so excited. Permit me if I'm screaming in your ears. I apologize, but I'm excited. I'm really excited about what is happening right now. I'm excited about the journey that we have begun in e-cooperative. Like we are really taking this by the horn. If any of you know me a lot, you know I follow someone called Daddy J.O., John Obidi. And John Obidi, in one of his training, he says something about internet being an, a, it's, it's a, a broad highway street. But in Nigeria, or sorry, I use the word Nigeria, in certain part of the world or under developing countries, which of course our country fall into, we do not see it that way. So in, in, in the developed country, they see the internet as a highway street where people begin to um, create um, a new world entirely, where if you're looking for cinemas, uh, you want to sit down and watch movie on the, on the streets of the internet, there is something called Netflix, right? So they created a cinema on the internet. It's called Netflix. You don't have to go to Silverbed Galaria. You don't have to go to Genesis anymore with your phone on the internet. You can just chill in your house, take a bottle of Coca-Cola and pop your um, uh, um, enjoy your popcorn while you are Netflixing on the internet. If you want to um, stop by in the, in, on a restaurant on the street of the internet, you can just go on Jumia Foods, right? You can just go online and then you just Google food and then you place an order and it will be delivered to you. Oh, you want to enjoy, I hope you know that the world has changed pretty fast. Now I don't need to travel anywhere. I can stay in my house and go on a tour in a country. All I just need to do is to pay either in Bitcoin or in any currency or in the um, um, US dollars and I'll just be in my house and then I'll be on a tour. There's 3D, 4D, 5D animations coming up and it will be like you are already in that zone. So I'm excited that a young, some young chaps with due respect to the, to the amazing brains behind e-cooperative. Let me call them young chaps. Some tiny little young chaps <laughs> somewhere in Africa have taken cooperative onto the internet. So I don't have to know somebody from my one market if you're in Podako or Ita market if you're in New York or Obalinde market if you're in Lagos or... Um, Guagualada market if you're in Abuja, or maybe Kumasu market if you're in Accra. Wherever you are in the world, I'm sure you're watching this anytime you're watching it from. I don't have to come from your neighborhood anymore to be a part of your cooperative. I can just come on the internet and I look for e-cooperative Africa and I am part of it. I'm excited about it. So ladies and gentlemen, um, if you are excited like I am and you are ready to go, let me see on the comment section, type ready to go. Type ready to go, ready to go. If you can tell me where you're listening from, that would be amazing. I'd love to know where are you listening from? Where are you joining us from? If you're watching this, maybe the replay, it doesn't matter. Still type on the comment section. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see the comments. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see I pull up my slide. While I pull up my slide, I am waiting. By the way, my name is King C. May. King C. May is my name. I'm a business development consultant. I am I'm a success coach, and I am the uh, founder and a CEO of King's Park Resources and author of um, the amazing blockbuster book. I won't say the best. Uh, yeah. Amazing, and amazing feedbacks and the testimonials has been amazing. I've been getting so far. Um, I'm waiting for your comment. I can only see four people. We have more than 12 people on the call tonight. Where are we? Where are my people? Glory Egan says, I'm ready to go. Amazing. Only Glory, um, my prince, PH, awesome. Always under uh, ready. Happy at Gmail says, ready to go. Put her code. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Where are my guys? Come on. Where are you? Don't be shy. Come on. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but I am excited. Is there nobody that is reaching us from Abuja? Is there nobody from Canada? Is there nobody from Ghana? Is there nobody from Uyo? Where are my people? Rep your city. Come on, rep your city. Ah, rep your city. The city cannot carry last, like we say in Nigerian palace. I know if you carry last. Worry, no, they carry last. Where are the worry people? Where are we? So I'm just waiting for a few more persons to just uh, drop in the comment section. I know you're pretty busy. I know that very well. I know that you just don't want to talk. You just want to chill. 
but he's good to also participate. Let me tell you something when you're on a virtual call, because it's not a physical call, it's important that you participate so that your, the facilitator could know that you are there with us. And of course, um, we that are facilitators, we could also know that you are with us. So um, can I get one more, two, three persons that are, are going to be uh, saying something? All right, so, but while you are telling me ready to go, I'm gonna zoom in. Um, but before I do that, please, if you are a member of e Cooperative, can you please pause, go out there, take the link, give it to 10 of your friends right now. It won't cost you much. Just go on WhatsApp, share it to 10 of your friends. Amazing, Kaduna in the building. I told you, I told you that we need to wrap our, our, our state. Thank you, awesome, awesome. So I was saying that if you are here and you're a member of e Cooperative, just speak the link, don't talk plenty. Just go to your WhatsApp, look for the first 10 people you see and post it on their, on their DM and tell them, click this link now and join me in class to learn how money works, learn money sense quickly, 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 do that right away. While I ask, and the beautiful thing is that as you're doing that, you can still be listening in and be hearing what I'm saying because I've been doing that already. While Dr. George was speaking, I was also doing other stuff on my phone and I was listening as well. All right, so we're ready to go. Today we're going to be look, we're going to be talking about money sense and under money sense today and tomorrow actually we will talk about money sense right money sense what is money sense money sense has to do with your ability as a person to begin to understand money and have sense we have body sense right we have the sense of touch I mean the, what makes us human is I think you have four maybe five um, types of uh, um, sense of uh, sense of the body I don't know the uh, the, the medical students will help me out here now. But I know we have the sense of touch, we have the sense of sight, right? We have the sense of, um, is it sight or see? I think it's sight. We have the sense of what? Taste, taste, yes. And we have the sense of, um, is it hearing? I don't know how it's called, I, apologies. I'm not a medical doctor and neither am I a medical student, but I'm just trying to remember back. All right, touch, thank you, my prince is helping me out. Who else is helping me out? Come on, who's helping me out? I've talked about touch, I've talked about um, um, touch means somebody touches you, you feel it. That's a sense, you just sense somebody touching you. You can be doing something and somebody from behind just touches you, tickles you, you feel that, right? That's a sense, right? Somebody, um, um, your eyes, right? You can see, that's um, sight, that's another sense, right? Um, you can taste something. Yes, there's a, there's, a, there's a sense of smell, yes. You can smell something. Imagine if you cannot smell something, ah. You'd have to go to the hospital for doctors to check you out. So, right now, we're going to awesome smell. Thank you, my friend from Kaduna. Next time, please try to edit your phone so we can know your name, not Infinite Hot 8, right? Thank you from my Kaduna friend. Awesome. So, um, I'm going to be sharing with you money sense. And in money sense, I will be diving deeper on subtitle that I would um, untitle Money Sense Part One. I forgot to ask if you see my screen. Please let me know that you're seeing my screen, so I know that we're together. Let me know if, if you're seeing my screen, so I know that we're together. I know that there are some people that no matter what I tell us to do, they will not do anything. I see you. I know you're not seeing me, but I see you. I know some people will not type anything. They will say, "But oh God, me lie, I am typing nothing." <laughs> Shout out to you, man. I understand you, man. No problem. I understand. But shout out to my peeps and my guys and my people in here who are just following me up all the time and they are typing and they are talking and they are following me. I love it. I love the energy. So that's my face. Um, um, awesome. Gloria says you've seen my screen. Amazing. Okay. I see you too. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So um, that's my screen and that's my picture there. Some people say I look more handsome physically than my picture. So if you are dripping from my picture, you can imagine what I would look like when you see me physically. Don't mind me, I'm just, I'm just fooling around, but I'm an handsome dude anyway. They say, when money in your pocket in Nigerian parlance, you're not a fine boy, no matter how you're ugly rich. I've been on this show. <laughs> All right, so um, we're, starting, we're starting the second series of the 30 days um, spree of learning, teaching. I want you to do me a favor this month. Take a bulk of maybe 5,000 naira, which is like um, $1 or $2, and do a full subscription for the month. Don't miss a series of this class. I promise you that at the end of 30 days, the way you are thinking, the way you see things will be absolutely different from the way you used to do it. Ah, where are those my guys that I asked you to go on your WhatsApp now and invite your friends? Don't just, just pick the link, go to your WhatsApp and share it to 10 people now. 
Just drop it. Tell the person, join now, join now, join now. There's a lot you need to learn about the way you can grow your money, right? Join now. Just do that. Awesome. So let's begin. Five money habits of rich and highly successful people, right? Five money habits of rich. And thank you, Dr. George, for sharing the link again. So you can just pick, copy it and just go there and share it. Five money habit of rich. I mean, by the way, I, I want to look at our statistics and our numbers. We are 16. I want, before we leave this call tonight, I want us to hit 30. I want us to hit 30. Let's hit 30. And the person that has the highest number of um, invitations that is on the call might just get a surprise package from me. You never might tell. All right. So we are still in the mood of celebration. Awesome. All right. I see some of you are doing that already. Amazing. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's beautiful. Five money habits. And I see some of my friends who are joining from my status. Some of you, you saw it shared in my group. Awesome. I'm, I'm glad to have you join. Five money habits read of rich and highly successful people. You see, um, um, Mike Murdoch said something that totally changed my life completely. He said that the secret of highly successful, the secret of highly successful people are in their daily routine. The secret of anybody anybody's success or failure is in their daily routine. If you are struggling with your academics, check your daily routine. If you are struggling with paying your bills, check your daily routine. I tell you, and I kid you not, that statement was made to me by Dr. Mike Murdoch in one of the training which he was training me. I was live in the class, not on a virtual call, physically. And he said that statement. And since that day, I have consciously, intentionally, done my, my own part of making sure I observe and I learn and I find out what the daily routine of highly successful people are, especially people I admire, people who are living the life that I'm dreaming to live. Like for instance, Dr. George is someone that I have, I, 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 oh my goodness, I don't know how to describe it. This is someone that I study, like I investigate his life like till tomorrow. He doesn't know that I'm saying it for the first time. Of course, when I say I'm, I'm investigating his life, it's not for a bad thing, it's for a good thing because this young gentleman called Dr. George ACN can persuade Sibley speak for three hours nonstop and he's not going to repeat words. I mean, I mean, some of you, please, can I get a witness? If you enjoyed the first 30, 30 day series we had before we start the second one where Dr. George spoke for almost 20 days, um, no, not 20, almost 15 days. He spoke back to back, not repeating anything. You come today, you get a new value. You come tomorrow, there's a, it was like he, he's an, a walking encyclopedia. All right, so five money habits. So I, I'm going to be sharing some of my thoughts on the money habits of highly successful people. This is something that I have studied over time and I have begun to emulate them. I have begun to, um, yeah, emulate is the word. I began to copy them and practice them. And I'm seeing, and I'm seeing, yes, yes, thank you very much, Oge, for affirming that. Oge says that the judge is a, is a real deal. He's doing, he's an amazing phenomenon, yes. And uh, sometimes I feel that Dr. Judge is underrated, he's under celebrated. He's not blowing his, he's not blowing so much. He, Dr. Judge, you need to blow yourself so, so well. You need to blow the trumpet. Pay for ads and blow yourself, man. Because there are a lot of people that don't know the stuff you carry. A whole lot of people don't know that. All right, so I move on. Now, five money habits of rich and highly successful people. I was telling you that after Dr. Mike Modok said that thing to me in a training, uh, um, I began to consciously look out for who are the successful people. And I began to want to find out what habits do they live? What's their daily routine? What do they do on a day-to-day -day basis? How do they speak? How do they walk? How do they think? Who do they hang around with? Where do they hang around with? Someone, I had a testimony and I can't remember the full story, but this guy was the guy from slum in Lagos, Nigeria. He lived in the ghetto, but he applied one of the principles that has changed his life completely. He shared it when he was, he was sharing his story and he shared it. He lived in the slum in Lagos, a ghetto in Lagos, but he found his way to Ikoyi Club. If you have been to Lagos, you know that Ikoyi Golf Club is a VIP and a VVIP golf club, where the who is who, the cream de la cream, the business tycoon, the highly successful people hang around and play golf. That's where they teach chat. That's where they meet other billionaires and millionaires. That's where they exchange contacts and ideas. I don't know how we did it. I forgot how we shared with us that he got there, but he found his way to that golf club. And every day he would go there, he became the body man. I think they call it body man in golf. 
the guy that carries this um, golfer's um, bag and stuff like that. As he was carrying those stuff, he was in if dropping into conversations of highly successful people. And guess what? He, if one day you bump into one of the conversations that have to do with real estate and the big wealth in it, that is how this young man began to learn more about real estate and began to join the conversation about real estate and cut the story short. He is a multi-billionaire in real estate today in Nigeria because he went to where the successful people were hanging out. So I ask you, have you ever thought about where successful people in your city? Udwak Etuk, I see you, amazing. I see you, I don't know if you have a question you wanna ask or you're raising your hand, but I may not take attention to your question right now. Let's just flow. And maybe I'll give you time to ask your question later. Is that okay? Just type in the comment section if you're okay with that so I know. All right. So. That's how this young chap, this is how this young guy became a multi-billionaire in real estate. So I don't know, have you have you sat back? Can somebody not write on my screen? Udwak, you're writing on my screen. Please do not, thank you. All right, so, 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 so um, 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 sorry for the distraction. So I can tell you for a fact that one of the things you need to know is hang around where successful people hang out. So why learn about money sense? Learning about money sense. The secret of every successful man is in their story and in their habit. When you meet a successful person, don't, don't rush to ask for money. Begin to have a conversation and let them tell you stories of how they are growing up, how they grew up, the, the challenges they went through. In the midst of them sharing their stories, definitely they are going to review certain strategies and certain keys, certain things they did that helped them become who they are and get to where they are today right? They may not share everything. Of course, they are not going to share everything. But based on the story, they are going to share certain things that they would naturally not share if you had just come to meet with them. Number two powerful things that you can find, if you can find out the habit of highly successful people, then you have learned the secret to their success. Number two, your result is determined by, the habit, by your habits. Same with wealthy and rich people. Your result is determined by your habits. If you, for example, if you meet a student that reads for four hours every day, whether the student is a slow learner, because we have slow learners who have to read for a long time for them to be able to um, assimilate what they are, learned, they are reading. However, they will never fall below the A and the B students in the class, right? So your habit, you might want to consciously ask yourself, what do I do unconsciously every day? Let me help you. One of the things you do unconsciously every day is that you brush your teeth every day. That's a habit that you have formed, that you wake up and in a day you have, some of us, we must take our bath before nine o'clock in the morning. That has become a habit and we must take our bath before 10 p.m. at night before we go to bed. It has become our habit. Some of us have developed the habit of eating um, um, fruit every night after our, our dinner. That has become a habit that has helped us to stay healthy and live more healthy. Are we following? Are we following? Right? And some of us have also developed bad habit of probably smoking. Uh, you know, probably taking hard drugs and whether you like it or not, whether it makes you feel high or not, if you're listening to me right now, you just know that you have developed the habit of damaging the cells in your body, damaging the organs in your body and subsequently it's going to affect you. So habits is formed by repetition of knowledge formed into thoughts that leads to a repeated action. Habits start from knowledge, knowing something and then in that knowledge that you have gotten, it begins to redirect your thinking pattern. It begins to redirect how you think and see things. And as you continue to think about it, it moves you to take action about it. If you begin to hear for the first time that you are rich and you're wealthy, not because you have the Naira notes, but because when you have ideas, you have ideas, then you are 
absolutely a rich person by potential. If you take that knowledge and assimilate it and you begin to think about it continuously and believe in it, it will begin to change your way of action. And as you begin to change your way of action, the results will begin to change. I hope we're following, all right? So the next thing is number one. I'm going straight to the money habit. <clears throat> Remember tonight, we are actually talking about, um, just a second, we're actually talking about the habit of, ha uh, five money habits of rich and successful people. Five money habits of rich and successful people. And I know that some of us, we already know about make money, manage money, you know, multiply money. Yeah, we all know that. That's why we have a lot of people who are making money, but they are still broke. There are people who are managing money, they are still broke. We have very few people who know how to multiply money, but that's not what I'm talking about today. Maybe some other time I'll go deeper into that. But for today, we're looking at those five money habits. Habit number one is that rich and successful people have an excellent time management habit. Rich and successful people have time management habits. When you look at this picture, what do you see? If I get one or two quick answers, I'm going to move on. I just want to one quick two, two, uh, quick two answers. By this picture, what does this picture mean to you? Can somebody quickly help me? How do you interpret this picture? Quickly, quickly, quickly. I'm waiting, quickly. I'm waiting. On the comment section, sorry, type on the comment section. Type on the comment section. How do you, how do you interpret? Good, I'm seeing the numbers is jumping up to 22. Please share the link, share the link. Let's hit up to 30. Amazing, I love this. Oh, this is beautiful. Let's hit 30 tonight so that tomorrow we'll hit 50. All right, so I'm waiting for somebody. Who are those people that are typing? Where are my people? Where are my people? Time now money. Ah, this guy, Napitakwa guy. He said time now money. <laughs> I love that. He said time now money. Time is money. Gloria says time is money. Beautiful. Let me, I think I'm good with those two. So let me run. <clears throat> you see, it's easier for us to quickly jump and say, oh, time is money. Time is money. Yes, it's easy for us to quickly say time is money. But let me ask you a question. If your 24 hours was equal to 24,000 Naira, and every one hour you spend equals to 1,000 Naira that is debited from your account, if you waste the 1,000 Naira, which is one hour, 1,000 will be debited from your account. If you invest or use your 1,000 Naira wisely, then that one, I can see the comments coming, fantastic. Then that 1,000 Naira will multiply. Our sense of how we use time will automatically change. Please, I want you to take this and listen to me clean, keenly. We can easily say time is money which of course, that's what the picture here depicts. But we are very terrible. Some of us, the reason, in fact, most of us, 90% of us, the reason why we are broke and poor is because of our terrible time management. Can anybody hear me? If you can hear me, type loud and clear. Let me know. Somebody is saying they cannot hear me. I hope you can hear me. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sure the network might be fluctuating, but I apologize. Is there any other person that can hear me before I continue? If you can hear me, can you type loud and clear? I can hear you. Oh, good, Angela. Oh, Angela, fantastic. Finally, Angela said something. Oh my God, thank you, Angela. All right, Angela can hear me. Who else can hear me so we know? All right, all right. So in my infinite guy says loud and clear, fantastic. So time management habit. So I was given an illustration that if, for instance, 1,000 Naira equals to one hour. It means that your 24 hours every day, you have 24,000 Naira. And th that money, each hour will either attract more money in or debit money from your account. If we, if, if, if we literally have this, then it would have been, if you can't hear me, you might have to log out and log in again if the network is an issue for your side, all right? Other people can hear me, sorry about that. Then I'm pretty sure some of us will not spend one hour just scrolling on social media. Social media is good, but when it is not utilized effectively, it becomes a time waster and we're losing money, all right? So number one habit of highly um, successful people and rich people is that they are excellent at time management. Rich people value time more than money. Take my words, rich people value time more than money. I know somebody will be saying, ha, I got calm down now. In Nigeria, it means, hello, sir, can you please calm down? Now let me, you calm down before you argue, just calm down. 
rich people, they value time more than money. So be why? Because money can depreciate, but time cannot depreciate. It is either it is used wisely or it is wasted. Naira today is dropping drastically as if it's Mount, uh, it's volcano eruption that is, that is uh, dissolving. But the time, 24 hours has not changed. 24 hours is the same. Can you mute your mic? Thank you for joining. When you join, mute your mic, please. 24 hours has not changed. It remains the same. It is no longer um, 20 seconds and, and redu reduced in, in one hour in Nigeria because Nigeria is going through economic um, crisis or economic challenges. And then in other countries, there's more. No, it's the same. Why? Because rich people understand that time produces everything. Time produces the money they have. Time produces everything. So if they must effectively um, understand and manage and make more money, then time management is of excellence to them. Rich people value time more than money. They value time more than money. Thank you for joining. Could you please mute your mic? Um, could you please mute your mic? Thank you for joining. Um, hot, hot, infinite hot eight. Kindly mute your mic, thank you. Kindly mute your mic, thank you. Infinite hot eight, kindly mute your mic, thank you. All right, rich people value time. They see time as money. So when, let me talk a bit about valuing time. They choose to use their time and hate to waste it. When you meet a highly successful person, he says, okay, what's the challenge? You say, go straight to the point, keep it straight, and simple, keep it short and simple, kiss, keep it, K-I-S-S, -S, keep it short and simple. They want that issue to be treated straight up. Rich people, one of the habits is time management. Some of you, the reason why you are broke is that only you, you have watched Prison Breaks, is in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only you, you have watched Game of Thrones, is in one, two, three, four, five, six, is in 24. Only you, you have watched, um, um, which one will I call again? A legend of the seeker you have watched it is in up to 20 only you you, you you are using your time and you are wasting your time rich people they choose to use their time and they hate to waste it poor people waste more time so poor a poor man can just go about visiting people hey guy what's up now i just said let me come and visit you a rich man hardly goes to visit that's why they say leave him is because he's rich doesn't have our time anymore. No, he understands what time is. He understands what time is. In fact, today, Brian Tracy talked and says, but one of the ways to manage time is, why have a meeting with someone when you can actually solve that conversation over the phone? That's one of the ways to manage time. Instead of going to have a physical meeting, you can just on the phone make a phone call. All right, so I've got to run now. Time is really fast. Man. So they see time as money. And so they don't waste it. Now, what you do, rich people invest their time in acquiring information and knowledge. They invest their time in what brings money to their direction. Am I saying don't have fun? Have fun, catch cruise, enjoy yourself, right? But when out of, out of 10 or 12, I think we sleep how many hours a day? We sleep eight hours out of 24 hours. So if you take away eight hours from 24 hours, that's 16 hours left. Why waste 10 out of your 16 hours. Most people don't become productive. The, the highest amount of productive time we use a day is four hours. The remaining 10 hours, we are either wasting it in watching the news or we're wasting it in watching movies or we're wasting it in just chatting away on social media or we're wasting it in just making phone calls or visit unnecessary visitation. Rich people have the habit of not wasting their time. So if you want to become rich and successful, one of the money sets, money sense is that you must understand that managing your time is one of the ways to be rich i don't know how to explain it better than this if you waste time you will be poor forever if you like pray and fast for 20 days if you like go to the mosque every friday and fast if you are a time waster you will be broke for the rest of your life what do you do with your time invest your time in acquiring knowledge in acquiring information and in acquiring skills. One day, somebody challenged me and I felt terrible about myself. Some of us, we don't even know the total GDP of our country as business people. We don't know what Nigeria is worth. But we have Google. 
The only time we go on Google is to Google trend fashion. How about using Google to Google about the industry that you are in? How about using your time to learn more on what is happening in other parts of the world? I've told this time and time again, if you're a student and you're listening to me right now, you can know more than your lecturer. Okay, maybe you may not know more than your lecturer, but you can know more than all your students in class. Ask me how. Simple instruction. Once they teach you a course in your, in your faculty or in your department, take the title of the course, go on the internet, type that course. For instance, if you are, take, if you are, if you are taking reverse engineering on uh, um, reverse mechanical engineering, maybe that's a title of a course or a topic of a course, just take that title, go on Google, type reverse engineering in mechanics and put PDF. You are going to see over 20,000 PDF free that has been uploaded by top universities on their thoughts about reverse mechanical engineering. By the time you are done reading it, when you go to class the next day, where your lecturer has stopped, you will be far ahead. That's one good example of ways you can know more and be better prepared for the 21st century. Of course, you know that our educational system is actually going through a lot of challenge right now. You know that already. So that's one of the ways you can use your time. Poor people, who spend time to conserve money. Why rich people spend money to conserve time? Let me repeat that. Poor people spend time to conserve money. Rich people spend money to conserve time. Poor man is ready to spend just 12,000 era to go by road to Lagos and spend the whole day. Why a rich man is ready to spend 45,000 era for a one hour flight, gets to Lagos, rest his brain, finish the meeting, come back the same day to his location and continue in business. So a man can leave in the morning, go to Lagos, have a meeting, pick a flight, come back again and continue his work in the office. A poor man will say, how can I spend 40,000 era on flights? Let me use it and save it. Let me spend 8,000 or 12,000 on the road. But he has lost a whole business hour for the whole day. So rich people, invest time in what brings money to their direction. Let me ask you, today, what have you done? How have you used your time? What you did with your time, did it bring money? Today, I got an alert. And for the past, for the past uh, in the month of October, I, got, I, I usually get alert every two days. In a space of three days maximum, somebody will credit my account. I learned that from Dr. George. He used to write down the amount of money has gotten. That's why you need to have a mentor that gives access to you. He will show me the account, the alerts that came in. And I used to wonder, when will I get to this point? Today, I enjoy it. I'm, get, I'm, I'm, I'm actually pushing to the point where every blessed day, I will get a credit alert. It means I'm going to do what? I'm going to create more valuable products and put it out there. So one of the ways you can invest your time is to spend time in learning how to create valuable products that people will want to buy and spend time in promoting what it is that you offer. Spend time in, cred in increasing your, your, your um, social capital by teaching people knowledge, increasing your influence. That's the best way to, to use your time. And that's what rich people do a lot of the time. So if you want to, one of the money sense is time is money and you must learn the habit of always using your time. I learned something from Brian Tracy and I, you might want to write this down very quickly. He says that every day when you are when you are trying when you want to know how to manage your time effectively, one of the things you should do is how am I using my time right now? Is it the best way to use my time right now? He said when you ask yourself that question, you will quickly jump out of whatever it is that you are doing that is not bringing value to you, that is not generating money to you. I repeat again: if twenty-four thousand era is equal to twenty-four hours in a day and the way you spend one hour determines whether they will take away 1,000 naira or they will add 1,000 naira to your account. So many, of us who, so many of us are broke today because the debit on our time account is in red. We have wasted all our time. We think that we have time when we actually don't. So rich and successful people manage, they know how to use their time because they see time as money. So from today, see time as money. You don't have to um, reply to all the WhatsApp chats at a go. No, you are not a Mr. Chat, chat WhatsApp re uh, replier. You don't have to reply to every DM that is sent to you immediately. 
because the chat sometimes becomes distracting. So when people send time, just tell yourself, I'm going to respond to all my chats between one o'clock and two o'clock. Whatever is remaining, I'll reply them again by 6 p.m. That way you'll be able to manage your time. So when you get on your WhatsApp, you check all the DMs that are coming. Some people are just going to ask you how far. Those how far people leave them. They don't have anything serious for now. People that have serious business, you go straight to them, you respond to them, you get back to you, whatever you are doing, and then you improve on it. That's one of the ways. Number two, and I think I'm going to stop here for tonight, and then um, maybe we'll continue tomorrow. Um, uh, yes, we'll continue, not maybe we'll continue tomorrow. Number two, money habit of highly successful people is that they have the habit of developing problem-solving skills. Oh my goodness, problem-solving skills. This is a very essential skills. People who have the habit of solving problems, they are always valuable in the marketplace. They are valuable in the social place. They are valuable in the church. If you meet that guy who will always go to check out for the bus, who will always go to check out for the drinks, who will always go to check out for the meeting venue so that we'll have a robust meeting, you'll find out that this is people that you cannot do without. And if you're in an organization and you learn to develop this skill, chances are that you are going to become wealthy and successful. So if you look at my screen there, you're going to see simple illustration on how to develop problem solving steps. Step number one is do what? Identify, the blue, the blue arrow there says identify. Identify the problem. Ident no, 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 not the blue, sorry. Define the problem. Define the problem, also known as identify the problem. So there is a problem. The problem is that the AC is not working. I define it. What is the problem right now? AC is not working. You have been able to define it. Step number two, analyze it. Why is the AC not working? Is it that the power is not working? Is it that the switch, the, the switch is burnt? Why is the AC not working? Now, once you, ident you have analyzed the problem, step number three is identify the solution. Does the solution, does it require to change the head, the head um, um, power cord, or does it require changing the socket? That way you can precisely go and buy the socket or get an electrician if it is something that you cannot treat yourself. Number four is do what? Choose your solution. Once you've identified the solution, there could be several solutions. Solution number one could be, let's get an electrician. Number two could be, let's buy a switch or a socket. I'm going to change it. Number three could be, let us um, call the boss or let us keep complaining. You see, by the time you have an, an identified the solution, you have chosen which one. If you are not good in electrical work, you can just say, okay, let's call the electrician. But if you have some level of electrical skills, you can say, let's change the switch, switch because I know how to change the switch. Then finally, plan of action. You plan, okay? You take your plan and then you implement. If you take this and form a habit, you are in the church. Oh, they are complaining. Members are, we are not getting members again. Why are we not getting members? Is it our location? Is it because we delay a lot when someone is going on? Um, I'm talking to Christians now. And then you on your own. Is it that we don't have evangelism unit or our flyers is bad? You use this process. You will come with a solution. When others are complaining, you go to your pastor and say, Pastor, I have a solution. I've been able to identify what the problem is. I've analyzed the situation. I've identified the solutions. I have put a plan of action. Now let us implement. If you go to your neighborhood, maybe your, your street, there's no light. And that's a big problem. You identify, why don't we have light? Is it transformer that is the problem? How much is the transformer? What kind of transformer do we need? What made the other one to go, go, go bad? This could be stupid. It could be making you look like a busybody person. But highly successful people have this habit. They may not be able to analyze everything, but they have this habit. And let me also let you know, if you develop this habit, every rich man will like to have you. You know why? Because rich people like people who solve problems. Managers don't like people who gossip. They may like to get the information, but when it's time to kick you out, they will kick you out because you're not valuable. Because they know that if you are gossiping other people, one day you will gossip them in the office. So they can kick you out anytime. But if you are someone that anytime an issue is going bad, you will find a way to fix it. Even if it's not in your department, then you become valuable. So highly successful people develop, rich people develop the habit of problem solving. Now in problem solving, 
I'm gonna share with you high income skills. I learned this from Dan Locke. Dan Locke is a multi-internet billionaire, internet millionaire who, who is a proponent. In fact, he started talking about high income skills in 2019, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm shouting about it. It is now that everybody is now saying, oh, high income skills. And in case you don't know what high income skills is, welcome. High income skills are skills that you can develop that can make you earn more money than the usual amount of money you earn. Whether you are a salary earner, whether you are a civil servant, whether you work in an office, you must develop high income skills. And they are, I'm gonna run through them very quickly. And this is where we're gonna stop for tonight. I still have five, um, three more to go tomorrow, but but we're going to we're going to share i'm going to share this with you number one high income skills that every rich and successful in fact if you meet 10 rich and successful people they have one out of this if not one or two i posted this on my um uh, on my facebook community business incubators network you might want to go and search business incubators network and you'll find my community and join it's a business um, community where entrepreneurs come together i shared it on my uh, on, on on that community and one of the response I got, somebody said that he has seven out of these 10 skills. I screamed, he said he has seven already. And I'm like, no wonder this guy is always on money. He can never be broke. Imagine out of these 10 on the list, he has seven of them. He listed them down and I was like, wow, right? So quickly, let's go through it. Number one is sales. You must master the skill of selling. It's a high income skill. Dr. George Asian taught me some time ago. He said, if the, he said, Marketers are people who will never look for a job and will never be broke. People who know how to market can never be broke and can never look for jobs. If you develop marketing skills, you can go walk into an oil company and tell them, Shabi, you people are into, um, um, uh, you, you sell um, oil well tools, right? I will market your tools for you and I will take 20% commission. And these are tools that are worth millions of naira. Imagine selling one million naira, uh, ten million naira worth of tools. Twenty percent commission is is how much? It's two million naira cash. It might take the person two months, but in two months he has sold one product that has given him two million naira. If he was employed as a staff, they will not pay him more than a hundred thousand naira, or one fifty or two hundred thousand naira. All right. For instance, again, marketing is so powerful. Right now. I'm trying to close a deal with someone on my on my Facebook DM who saw me post on real estate. So I've decided to talk a lot about, about uh, properties now. She's trying to close, well, I'm trying to close the deal. The property is worth 500,000 Naira and I'm going to get 10% of commission from that if I sell that property. 10% of it is 50,000 Naira. What did I do? I didn't even go out of my house. I stayed in my house, used my Facebook, was just talking about it. And somebody's in my DM and we are negotiating now. So imagine if I get three, four clients in a month, who buy the property for uh, 500,000 Naira is that would be me getting 10, 10%. And that would be 200,000 Naira without me going to work for anybody. No disrespect to those who are working for people. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing to work for somebody. It's actually good because it helps you develop administrative and work ethics, right? So, but sales is one skill you must develop. So don't run away from marketing, take marketing. That's why marketers who survive in the banking sector become good managers. They become powerful general managers because they were excellent marketers. Dr. George taught me that. He said, marketers will never lack jobs. If, you, if you're running away from marketing, start by reading books on marketing. Go and buy Grant Cardone's book, 10X. Go and buy um, Get Sold or Be Sold To. Buy Seth, Seth Gordon's. Go on YouTube. I have one guy's channel that I am stuck with every day. I'm listening to, I'm reading, I'm learning about marketing because marketing is the heart of every business. Number two skills is digital marketing. And of course, we have tons of video already about digital marketing. Digital marketing is how you market your goods and services using a digital means. And of course, we know we are going digital. Right now, we have digital marketing is different from social media marketing. Please don't, be, don't make that mistake. Social media marketing has to do with marketing using Facebook ads, Instagram ads, right? Um, Twitter does, LinkedIn does ads, TikTok ads, all those ads on social media. That's social media marketing. Digital marketing includes Google, right? Advertising using Google, advertising using um, um, website and blogs, right? So that's number two skills you must develop. The easiest way, just go on um, Facebook. They have free, free tutorial on that you can learn. Number three, 
if you develop these skills, you are on your path and you stay consistent in, in growing it. Others may laugh at you, but over time you will become an expert. Number three is copywriting. I toilet for Gab, um, MK, MK Akan, MK Akan in the building. I hope MK Akan is here. He did them, um, he took us on, he took us on copywriting in the previous series. If you're in this call, go and look for, go to ecooperative.africa's YouTube page. You are going to see these, doc, these trainings. Go and learn them for free. Go and master them. Pick one, two, three out of this and learn. I'm going to run quickly again. Number four, copywriting. I know a guy in Port Harcourt. If I mention his name, all of you will know him. He's called the Prince of Copywriting. That guy has trained over 6,000 people in his copywriting school called Bachelors of Copywriting, where he charges them 5,000 5, naira. Please, somebody do the math for me and put it on the comment section. He has done that since 2019. For the past three years, he has been teaching people using WhatsApp and, and phone to teach people. He has an academy called Bachelors of Copywriting. Each of his sessions, he has nothing less than 600 to 700 people join, sometimes 400, sometimes 500. Imagine charging people 5,000 naira to teach them copywriting, and he has that massive numbers. He has done over 10 to 12, if not 15 million naira in a space of three years. Some of you, where you are working, you've not done 4 million naira in the past three years, including some of us that are talking, right? But this is high income skill. If you must be rich and successful, look for one, two, or three of these and learn. Number four, web design. Oh, this is where my boss, Dennis, Dennis is hearing me. Dennis, bye-bye, the toilet for you. I'm coming to learn. <laughs> I mean, Dennis helped Dr. George ACN made his first 1 million Naira using website because Dr. George didn't have a website. So Dennis now challenged, oh, that's 30 million Naira. Okay, good. So you can see somebody made 30 million Naira in a space of three years, 2019, 2020, 2021. If you divide it, that's an average of 10 million Naira and he has other products he's selling. That's only on copywriting alone. He also gives our copywriting services to um, companies and corporate organizations. I'm actually looking for a copywriter. I have a product I want to sell. Somebody can help me. So if you don't know what copywriting is, you might want to go and Google that and read through it. That's a skill. Just tell yourself, in the next one year, I want to master copywriting. Let others be laughing at you. I want to beg ladies, if you're a young lady in this call, in this call, I beg in the name of God, don't go and be a liability to your husband. Pick one of these skills now and start learning it while you are doing your e-cooperative business. Quickly, number four, web design. My younger brother is a badass web designer. He learned it. He has not, he's, he's still, um, I think he's about going for, he's about applying for jam and all those stuff to gain admission. But what he earns a month is what some graduates earn in two months. Sometimes he has up to three, four clients that he, he works for. So he earns more than graduates on web design. That's web design alone. Web development is the back end, I believe so, where you do all those coding and all the rest. There's front end web design and there's back end web design and all that web development. SEO and SEM, search engine optimization. That's another powerful skill you can learn. Trade skill, Forex trading. Our boss, Michael Essien has opened. Is it Michael Essien? Okay, Mr. Essien. Let me just put Essien there and leave it there. One of the Essiens just taught us on how we can go into find um forex trading not forex trading it's going to, how does it call it the financial market where you can trade on gold trade on crude oil trade on um currencies and all the rest i'm actually um taking up this skill number seven number eight video production video editing video animation i know a young chap who is one of my protege he cashes out his clients are people in the abroad he earns minimum of 100 200 300 dollars using app some free apps and some paid premium apps to edit and create video animations for people. And his, his market is not Nigerian market. He targets the foreign market. The foreign market can pay $100. $100 is like, is like 1,000 Naira or is it like 2,000 Naira in US, right? So they can easily fling $1,100. Imagine you getting clients that gives you, imagine getting four clients who you do video animation jobs for. That pays you hundred hundred dollars. That's two hundred thousand naira. Just four clients, and you still have all the time to do other things that you want to do. Number eight is number nine is content writing. Oh my goodness! Most of the websites that you you go to read, most of the blogs, they are not the own. The owners of the blog are not the one creating those content. Some of them pay people to create content for them. You can master the art of creating content and become highly paid. Become highly paid. Let me know if it's making sense. 
ah, the, the room is too quiet. Let me know, let me know on the comment section. Is it making sense? Is it making sense? If it's making sense, start making sense. I can see we have 26 people. We have four more to go. Somebody just go out there, share the link. We want to hit 30 people tonight on this call before we go. But quickly, let me see on the comment section. Where are my people? Where are my people? Is it making sense? Ah, somebody, oh, hot eight is making sense. Awesome. Making sense. Where Angela says making sense. Plenty sense. I like that word. Plenty sense. All right. All right. Where are more people? Come on, man. I know that you have vowed that you will not type. But for my sake, please type. <laughs> Number nine, content writing. Okay. I talked about content writing. Social media. I have a client right now. Is um is a is a fashion house. So they are the guy is begging me. Awesome. I can see it coming. Beauty dollar. I like your name of beauty dollar. <laughs> All right, the guy is begging me that I should be creating content for his social media and, and in return, the guy would be so better suit for me. Suit what 40, 50K, he would make it badass designer suit for me. So you could see somebody's begging me for my expertise and my skill. What I would have paid 40,000 era to get a suit. Now I'm just gonna take my phone, create a calendar for content I'm going to share on his social media handles. Every week, I just stay in my house and do that. And at the end of the month, one new suit, one new um, Etibor, one new senator, you know, just like that. So content creation and number, number 10, software development. Actually, there are about 22 of them. So I was only able to pick 10 out of it. I was only able to pick 10 out of it and talk about it. And I, I won't go further. Software development and applications. Oh, let me tell you something about... Um, um, your ability, okay, in number two, I said your ability to think and see solution when others see problem is essential. Talking about problem solving. When others are complaining, there is no way you are thinking of ways that you can come up with. These are skills. Now we are shouting it. Some of us, we are paying deaf ear. We are, we are procrastinating. December goes soon with you. Wait till you say you will do this in January. Have you done it? You've not done it. In case you're watching from Ghana, that's the pigeon English I just said. What you said you were going to do in January, this is December approaching what have you done about it pick one two three out of these skills and tell yourself in the next three to six months i am going to master it i have picked skill number three in trading i'm going to master trading in fact i i regretted why i didn't pick trading five years ago when i saw it i was joking with it by now i would have been a master like michael essian but today now i'm starting out fresh but no no qualms no worries i'll still get there michael essian would, would tutor me or any other person would tutor me which one do you have pick it Video, video animation, you, you can pick video animation. There are badass guys that are making amazing videos out there using their phone, using their phone. Content writing, you can use your phone. High income skills. If you don't, that's I'm shouting it. That's how we used to shout that very soon. Um, office assistant will no longer be a job opportunity. Today, we do go to any office and look for office assistant except civil servant that the Nigerian government have refused to change, but change is changing them already. Why? Because the things you used to send an office assistant, go get me this, go get me that. With a phone, you can make the call, send a text, send a message, and it will be delivered. That's it. So these are, this is where I'm going to be stopping for tonight. But here is where eCooperative.Africa comes into play. And it's so beautiful. 25, I'm looking at the numbers. Come on, guys. Let's hit 30 now. Come on. All right, I'm seeing. Shalom says, making sense always. Awesome. Oh, sense you're making. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can see the comments coming in. Thank you. Now, let me quickly tell you, out of these 10 skills, it will take you not less than three to six months before you start making a dime from it, start earning from it. But you can actually leverage on e-cooperative Africa tonight and from tomorrow, you start earning from it. I'm going to share more about it tomorrow. But with eCooperative.Africa, is a platform, a community. I'm just going to summarize it. It's a community. Okay, maybe I should just go to the, let me just go to the, there. I think, I, can I steal 15 minutes of your time? I know it's 10 o'clock already. 15 minutes, guys, just 15 minutes, and I'm going to be out of your face. All right, so let me quick, 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 quick. All this I'm going to be sharing tomorrow. All right, so let's stay with you. So I said, here is how you can also start your own journey of being developing a wealthy habit, developing a rich and wealthy habit, leverage on a cooperative Africa. How a cooperative Africa is, um, is a synergy, is a platform where Africans can come together to collaborate, to share, to contribute, to learn, to network, to invest together, to invest together. Very soon, we just launched our 
e-commerce platform. Very soon, we are going to be launching our investment platform. And I keep shouting it. I'm sure Dr. George is taking note of it. We can just go to one place and buy one hectare and sign a deal with the property real estate company and say, we are taking this um, 20 acres of land. We want to build a commercial building in it where people will come and pay and leave. And then we come to your cooperative and say, look, oh, guys, we have an investment plan. We are projecting it to the investment will run for seven years. We will not make any income. We will be putting in, everybody's putting in maybe 50, 50,000 Naira every month or maybe 30, 30,000 Naira every month. If we have 50 people putting 50,000 Naira every month, that's going to be a total of how much? 5 million Naira annually times 50 people, that's going to be 25 million Naira. We'll buy the property, we'll erect, erect the building and we'll have tenants. So it is the money from the tenant that will start eating for life. You see, that's coming together of synergy. That's one of the examples. I'm not, I don't know what e-cooperative are going to be doing, but I think that's one of the things they might be doing. And there are other investments that can be happening. But you cannot be a part of the investment until you are a member. And what does it cost to be a member? Just 2,000 Naira. If you're just joining us for the first time, just 2,000 Naira gives you the opportunity to do that. All right? I've already shared what, what, who we are and what we do. We, um, how was it formed? two giant, three organizations come together, consortium come together, uh, a web development company. That's why I love, I mean, I love e-cooperative website. I've never gone on the website and it gives me any headache. And you can see the e-commerce is so beautiful, easy to navigate. That's because one of the parent company of e-cooperative is web development and IT firm. The other one is training organization. That's why you see every time we are doing e-cooperative meeting, we are teaching. We're teaching because we believe that Africa can only rise when we beat illiteracy and on education and on educativeness. Yes, uh, quickly. So in, in e-cooperative, you can raise funds for your project, whether it's 10 million, 5 million, 2 million, 3 million, you can raise funds. You can only raise funds by becoming a member and becoming a member is just 2,000 Naira. You can learn in the community and you grow. You can save, you can buy, you can invest. Already we have shared that already. I'm going to talk more about this tomorrow. So formally, in e-cooperative, with your 2,000 Naira, you become a member that gives you access to learn how to save and create the habit of saving, um, raising funds. Anytime you want to raise funds, you can raise funds. Anytime you want to raise um, investment are there. E-commerce e platform, you can see my product is already there. Um, don't worry about e-cooperative Africa. Give e-cooperative shop the next three months and you will see the higher the number of traffic. I'm sure by e when e-cooperative starts also pushing the promotions on the, 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 the site, it will be like Gigi, Gigi.ng or Jumia. Gigi has over 100,000 visitors per month on their site. When they started, it wasn't like that. That's what we're talking about, crowdfunding, e-learning. All right, so um, quickly, quickly, quickly. Um, I've, all these things I've mentioned, the e-commerce, I've, I've mentioned that. All right. So how do you become a member? You can only become a member when someone invites you to join. That person is, is called sponsor. It doesn't mean the person is sponsoring you. No, no that's just a name. It's sponsor or your upline. All right. The person shares a link. And so if you're joining, those of you that join from my WhatsApp status, as soon as we finish, hits me on my WhatsApp DM. I'm waiting for you. And if somebody invited you, share the link and invited you here. Merely we're done. Go back to the person and ask, how do I how do I jump on this right now? This is a this is a community that is about um, 40 days old, and we have over 2,000 members. We've raised over six million naira cumulatively as a community. It has never happened anywhere. I stand to be corrected. So. To become a member, you just need 2,000 Naira to become a member as a, as a member with 2,000 Naira. That's your 2,000 Naira that you're joining. You are not paying it to any to e-cooperative as a company. You are using it to contribute to somebody. It is until you are able to contribute, you cannot be a member. And you only need 2,000 Naira from your pocket, which is the only amount you will ever take from your pocket. The other amount, you don't need to take it from your pocket. Of course, optional. Take your 2,000 Naira and the system is going to show you who you're contributing it to. Once you contribute, you are qualified to be a member. The moment you're a member, all that the system asks is that share this opportunity with four people. Now, I usually do practically go on your WhatsApp. Now, you have not less than 1,000 contacts on your WhatsApp. Some people have 4,000. You cannot tell me that out of 4,000, you won't get four people. You see, the thing is that we take a lot of expectation. Oh, as soon as I join, when I tell this person, this person is going to join. So when you tell this person he doesn't join, you feel disappointed. No, your destiny is not attached to him. Anybody that says no, you say next, no, next. Don't quarrel with anybody that is angry or 
um, 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 does not join a business you tell them to. After all, today, uh, the, the people that didn't join, um, what's his name, Mark Zuckerberg, when he asked them to join him in building Facebook, they are biting their tongue every day when they see the, the, the amount of money that the shares in, in Facebook is commanding on, the, on New York Stock Exchange. I mean, they are biting their finger. So don't quarrel anybody. In fact, make it a habit. Remember I told you that rich people, they consciously use their time to do promote things that bring money to their pocket. This is the time for you to use your time to promote promote activities that will raise money into your pocket. So all you need is to invite four people. Once those four people join you, because you already contributed 2,000 Naira, you are now qualified to receive 2,000 Naira contribution from four people, right? From four people, look at it there, very simple. Let me see, uh, okay, I'm not gonna go on my pen. Just look at the diagram, you can screenshot it and then you can, I will just run through it. Now at level one, where you joined with 2,000, you are this fine boy here by the right hand side, if you're a lady, sorry about that. You're this fine, fine girl, picture a fine girl there, right? So with your level one, you contributed 2,000 era. That's how you became a member that gave you access to learn for free materials that will help you beat your competitors. If you're a marketer in the bank, you can learn the skills here and use it. If you're, a, if you're a worker, you can learn how to develop yourself. There are a lot of things that we have shared here in the past 30 days. Go to our YouTube channel. There are tons of value that you can just go and be watching and watching and watching and apply them. So now for the four people you invited, and you are now qualified to receive two 2,000 Naira as contribution from them. Four of them will give you two 2,000 times, so it's what, 8,000 Naira. If all you needed was 8,000 Naira, go see Wala. How do you download all numbers on your phone, including the ones without name and use? No, I'm not talking about download. I'm saying that on your WhatsApp, just decide that, write their names down, have a prospect list, write their names down. Today, I will talk to Ada. You share the link with Ada. Don't even talk to them. Invite them to our meeting tomorrow. Tomorrow, I want us to hit 40. Today, we are 26. Let me check again. Imagine if you invite, if all of us here, we invite for four people this was this virtual call can carry up to 1000 if you see like the room no go full please can somebody hear me are we hearing are you hearing me you can hear me type you're hearing me let me know because i'm not seeing any notifications on my mic anymore i want to be sure that you can hear me loud and clear all right so your level one once you do your 2000 error contribution four people donate 2000 error to you that's 8000 error if that's all you needed okay beautiful beautiful thank you that's all you needed, no problem. You can chill. The system is designed that people you invited, they don't have to be stagnant because you are not doing it again. They will bypass you. But if you say, no, I want more, the system says, out of your 8,000, take 4,000, go to level two person and donate 4,000 to them. Once you donate 4,000, you are now qualified to receive contributions of 4,000 4, era. And guess what's gonna happen? At that level two, by the design of the system, 16 people are going to be are going to contribute 4,000 4, era to you. Maybe not immediately, but cumulatively. At the end of that, 16,000 times, uh, 16 people times 4,000 each is gonna be how much? Somebody help me, 64,000 era. So with your 2,000 era you started with, you have gotten 8,000, you use four out of the 8,000 to contribute to the next level. And 16 people contributed what? For 4,000 to you and you have 64,000. It's not still big. I know some of you earn half a million or 200K in your, as your salary. Kosi wala, no vex. Level three, if that's all you needed, you can chill out. But if you need more, the system says, out of your 64,000 naira, just take 8,000 naira. Go to that sister in level three and contribute. The moment you do that, you are now qualified to start receiving 8,000 8, naira as contribution from members of the community. And it is designed that 64 people must contribute 8,000 8, naira to you. Once they do that, you have hit your half a million mark. You continue again at that side goes. So very simple. That's the simple summary of it. Somebody is saying, so how do I get the cash? How do I get the cash? Number one, one of the great advantage of this business is that money is paid instantaneously by hand to you or directly to your account by your downline. When you are signing up, without your 2,000 naira, you will go to the link, you click the link, there are forms you're going to fill, just your name, phone number, email, bank details, finish, username and password, that's all. Once you fill those details, so if somebody wants to contribute to you, you will just click on upgrade, your account details will show, your phone number will show. I usually tell my team members, 
before you upgrade, first of all, do what? Take your phone, call somebody, the person you're upgrading, say, oh, my name is XYZ from e-cooperative. I am, I'm about to upgrade to level two, which means I'm contributing 4,000 naira to you. I just want to be sure. I just want to let you know before I make payment. They say, oh, go ahead, do your transfer. The person confirms you, you're in level two. That's how it goes. So nobody, I mean, nobody um, owes your money or anything. That's how it is. And developing this habit, developing this habit is what's going to put you in that circle. Long-term thinking is the habit of highly successful people. And you don't build wealth overnight. You don't get rich overnight. You get rich over time by building wealth one at a time, brick by brick, mortar by mortar. That's how it goes. But like I said before, in our high income skills, sales and marketing, remember that without your 2000 era, you are not only raising funds, you are also getting opportunity to market your product for free. If you want to develop your e-commerce website, you can do it to Papa, you will pay, Pata Pata, you will pay a web developer 50 to 100 or 200,000 naira. They will give you badass web design with e-commerce, but you will not be able to promote and market it to attract the traffic that e-commerce is, e-cooperative is attracting right now. And you need the traffic. So by being a member, you can easily go there and upload your product. I have a book where I have extensively dealt with it. And I'm not saying this because I want you to buy. If you like, buy. If you don't like, leave it. But I have over, over as at the moment, I have over 50 something testimonies of people who bought my book, read my book. I've been able to raise money for their business. They've been able to start their own business. Some have been able to expand their business. It's called Start Small, Sell Out. Start Small, Sell Out. That's the title of the book. You can just go to the e-cooperative website. And as soon as you go to the e-cooperative website, you are going to see my book there. Just go to the e-cooperative website and then you will, you will find this beautiful book there. Once you go there, you see it. I know that you're looking at my gallery, Novex. I just wanted to make sure that some of us are able to see what I'm talking about. Yep, this is the book I'm talking about. Yep, Start Small Sellout, Proven Strategies to Grow and Make More Money in Your Business as a Beginner. It's there, wherever you are, if you're in product court, just place an order, we'll deliver it to you. And of course, um, it's just 2,500 naira. Rich people, they like spending money. They like spending money. They like, rich people, they like spending money. To, to, they, yeah, they like spending money to conserve time. Poor people like spending time to conserve money. One of the things rich, habit of rich people is that they invest in information and knowledge. I got properties this year because of information. I paid into a circle where they are telling they are dropping properties as if they're hot. And guess what? They are very affordable because I chose to not think like a poor man, but a rich man. And I was willing to invest in a circle that gives daily information about genuine business opportunity, just like you are in here. So your 2000 era can be, um, how do I used to call it? Uh, urgent 2K. But that urgent 2K is opening you up into a circle where you're learning things that's going to help you grow and develop yourself. So right now, I want you right now to go back to the person that invited you quickly and do what and sign up if you're here. And if you're here and you're a member and you did not invite anybody, that is not our culture. You do not have to, again, you do not have to be the one to talk to them. Just share the link. Every day, share the link to 10 people. Let them say no. Let them say we are busy. Out of 10, two will come. Out of two, one will sign up. That's the system. Don't reinvent the wheel. Follow the wheel. And then lastly, if you're a member, I've said it time and time again, in virtual call, there are ethics. One of the ethics is that if you must put your video on, make sure that you are properly dressed so that you will not be exposing some part of your body in the in the video call or you are not exposing your house in the video call i like always ad advising because we are in a virtual world today tomorrow you might be in the same room with an investor that would have invested in your business but your presentation was shabby ladies and gentlemen my name is king slimy it's been a plum and pleasing pleasure as well as a privilege according to my role model les brown to have been in your ears talking to you for this past one hour to or 
45 to one hour now. Thank you very much. And I'm gonna see you in the part two of this. Thank you, Dr. George, for the opportunity to share my thoughts. And I am not Thank imposing you. it on you. It's just my thoughts. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Kingsley, for the thoughts you've shared. Thank you for everyone who took our time to be part of this class. Um, the knowledge he shared, I'm sure he'll be completing he did the, the last three ideas, money-making skills you need to develop. I, I was particularly excited about those um, 21st century skills you mentioned, and I'm sure that we'll look into it. One of the beautiful things about e-cooperative is that in the learning materials, uh, in the coming days, you will start noticing that some very heavy materials will be sent there very soon. Shortly, you will have the complete um, um, videos on how, how to design a website. You see it in your dashboard. If you're on level four, you see that in your dashboard. Um, you also see things on copywriting. There's even, in, there's even some materials on copywriting, and the platform and many other, um, there's e-commerce training, mini importation, there's Instagram advertising by Gabo on that um, learning materials. You can see them in your learning materials dashboard. You can also see them in your e-cooperative shop. The good news, friends, good news, one good news, what we didn't come early, is that e-cooperative.shop is available. If the admin will just let me show you how the site looks like. If the admin will just let me show you how the site looks like. Um, just briefly so that we can know how it looks like. You can easily go there now and sell. Remember what was said to us, that if you're going to make money, then you need to quickly learn how to sell. So if you have not gone there already, um, it, the, the host should make me admin quickly. Let me show them if that is possible. Okay. Um, e cooperative host, make me admin, make me admin, so I uh, make me host so that I can do this. Hello, e cooperative Africa host. All right, I think I could show you how the. Um, e cooperative admin, please, can you make me host so I can show them things? Oh, Kingsley. Kingsley. I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. You just show, if you can go to your Chrome and if you have data, show them e cooperative shop how it looks like. Okay. Um, all right. So, so the thing here is that I'm using, I've not upgraded my, I don't know, I don't know. I'm still, I still trying to find my way around. I'm using my phone for this presentation. So, I haven't still been able to find my way around using Chrome and sharing the screen at the same time. What will happen is tomorrow, before we start off, I'm going to be sharing again and showing you how the e cooperative shop looks like. Thank you, everyone, for being part of this class. I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow where we'll continue this conversation. Have a great time. Oh, is there anybody that has a question? I'm sorry. I think Udrak raised that hand or his end when we started early. Anybody that has a question, you can end the recording now. Anybody that has a question, you wanna ask quickly? You wanna ask quickly? Okay. All right, so no question. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much and see you tomorrow.